Hello, I'm Robin Forsyth of Feral Nifty. Welcome to Here and Now Online, presented by Arts Whistler. I would like to present to you, Introduce Wolves. Get ready to mosh. This song is called Way of the Ninja. This song is called Under the Stairs.
take care of it, it brings me joy. We go on walks, follow maps of the airport, visit the Thank you guys I really really enjoyed that I suspect you guys are usually the band that comes on at 11 and rocks down the house so I was very happy because I never stay up till 11 to get to hear you at 7 p.m. on a Thursday tell me a little bit more about how we can hear you again where where is your music so you can hear the rat year and way of the ninja on pretty much all the major streaming services and on Bandcamp as well. Um, if you want a high quality version, that's the place to go. Um, you can also sign up for future updates from us there as well. Cool, do you promote on Instagram? Yeah, whatever social media platform you prefer. Um, if you don't see us, give us a nudge and we'll, we'll get on there for you. Excellent, I will. Thank you. <laughs> now, when you guys were playing, I noticed that uh, Kevin seemed to be particularly happy. <laughs> Everyone else was like, yeah, they're in it, but you, why? Honestly, I just love drums. Playing drums gets me in my zone, if you want to say that. It just, once I get into the rhythm, it just takes over, right? I don't think about anything or anyone. Just get the song done, play it well, and yeah, boom, it's good. And you did, actually. Thank I was, you. I Thank was you counting. <laughs> I was actually counting, because I was awesome. like, that is a funky time signature. Yeah. And you guys had two in the, the, the funky time signature yeah. of? Of? Of. It, of? Six. I think it was six, eight, and then I went to four, four. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's very tough, but these guys brought me through uh, each and every step, which made me, you know, better. They said it's going to be difficult, and it was, and... Yeah. It didn't actually look that tough. You guys, you did awesome, actually. It was yeah. really Thank good you. work. Appreciate it. So there's a love story. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful, beautiful love story of the bassist and the guitar player. Uh, Liam, would you like to tell it to yeah, us? Yeah, it's the, probably most, uh, the best ongoing relationship I have in my life currently. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, Rory and I moved to Whistler about four and a half, four years ago. Um, and we're pretty much the, the first people that both of us met effectively um, when we both moved here. And we're friends for about a year, year and a half um, before the topic of music ever came up at all. We're, we're both mountain bikers, so we only ever talked about bikes, really. But um, one Christmas we were talking about um, what some of our favorite bands. We realized we had identical music tastes. And the conversation then shifted to, oh, I play bass. Oh, I play guitar and sing. Like, Let's start a band. 
And so we did. And how did you get the rest of the riffraff? The internet. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. When wow. romance blossoms, it blossoms big. <laughs> I like true. it. Um, and so, <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm now I have to think about that. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> and the name is very unique and hard to present yes. sometimes. <laughs> Introduce Wolves. Tell me how that came about. Well, all the good band names that are nouns are taken now. If you, so um, <laughs> we've, we've moved on to verbs. Um, so introduce wolves is an action, not a thing. It's a doing word. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so I think I just kind of came across the idea when I was reading an article about wolves being reintroduced to you know national parks in the US or well, anywhere in the world, actually. Um, and then I read a great quote about, you know, you want to solve your problems, all you've got to do is introduce wolves. And, you know, they're talking about how the reintroduction of wolves in these national parks had um, re um, restored balance to the ecosystem. And there was this, this quote said something along the lines of, oh, you know, introduce wolves into national parks, it'll restore the ecosystem. Introduce wolves into you know, the House of Parliament, and it'll uh, solve those problems, you know, introduce wolves into a shopping mall, and it'll, you know, and I kind of like that idea of... There isn't a problem that wolves can't solve. Yeah, just introduce <laughs> wolves, and it'll solve your problem. That's kind of <laughs> the idea. And So uh, you're, you're out to fix the world. Yeah, yeah we're out One to fix the world. One wolf at world. a time. Yeah. We're, the we're actually, uh, we're activists, yeah. <laughs> Musical activists. <laughs> and yet you wear a bear on your shirt. Yeah, well, I, I do actually have a wolf t-shirt, but you know what? It's just too cliche. Yeah, it'd be too on the nose, wouldn't it? Yeah, it'd be too on the nose. And, you know, I feel like we now, we can't have wolves in our artwork. It's just going too far. It's a name and that's as far as it goes. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's an, an inter internal identity. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> A spirit animal. Yeah, and we, you know, we don't want to identify too closely with the wolf. Like, you know, I mean, everyone does that, right? Like, my spirit animal is probably a squirrel, like, realistically. <laughs> I like but, that. Uh, yeah. An elf, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> That's not an animal. Uh, True. The elf might argue. Well, okay. <laughs> now, there is a, a wheel of questions. I was going to yeah, I think it's a wheel of questions and I'm going to spin it on your behalf. And I haven't even spoken to you, Phil. This is Phil. He's the lead guitarist. He's the one with his foot on the, on the monitor. Yeah, no one wants Phil. to hear from me. <laughs> okay. Um, so, I'm going to ask this question of you. For me? Yeah. Firm, I firm, firm, I don't know much about him yet, so. Firm, yeah. medium, or soft spin? <sighs> Surprise me. Oh, I really put my back into that one. I like it. <laughs> Should I be Nine. worried? Nine. Nine. Nine, Nine mate. Oh mate, I like it. Phil, tell me, what is your dream gig? Uh, the here and now um, <laughs> show that Whistler Arts is putting on. Awesome. Good answer. This is spot on, baby. Perfect. Spot on. A YouTube show. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do another one. This, is one. this one's up for grabs. Eight. I don't even have to change the panel. Oh, what is the funniest thing that you have ever been given by a fan or had thrown on the stage? Surely we've had something thrown at us at the PEMHO, haven't we? I've not thrown. I've seen glasses thrown at the floor. Man, I've definitely had so some pretty glasses. interesting things thrown at me. For sure. I've definitely when, when thrown I stuff. <laughs> Somewhere in Liverpool. Propane tanks into fires? That wasn't a fan. <laughs> that was just some... Person. Some hooligans. Some hooligans. Uh, no bras? Nah, I've seen lots of tops get taken off when I've been playing. That was great, but <laughs> I think someone made it a t shirt once, like, which had the band's name on it. Like, it wasn't a, a t shirt we produced, but they're like, oh, hey, you have a t shirt that I made. I was like, <laughs> okay, cool. Now, did he put a t uh, wolf on it? No, this was a very, this is a long time ago. Like this is, okay. there were no wolves in this band. All right, <laughs> I got I got two more spins. Soft, 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 soft. gentle. Oh, zipper, I'm out of order now. No, no. Someone tell me, what is your favorite song to rock out to, and why? The Rats here. <laughs> 
And you get to see for yourself. You yeah. just have you just have all the answers. That's excellent. Really picking us up. He's saying. I mean, awesome. tonight I would agree, like absolutely. And for all Canadians, he's saying rats ear, <laughs> rat ear. That's awesome. Um, all right, last but not least, spin. So much pressure. No. <laughs> keep not going, that one. Keep it going. Keep it going. Not that one. No! <laughs> what are the chances? Wait, this thing is rigged. Ah, haha. -ha. If you were, if you had uh, groupies or fans, what would they be called? We get to choose. Yeah, sheep. Like, like I guess Swifties yeah, or sheep. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Done. Perfect. Yeah. That seems strangely predatory, but. <laughs> <laughs> I mean wolves. Change yeah. Sheep, you know, I guess. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, I got it. I was just agreeing. <laughs> Should we do another question? You yeah. want to do another question? Yeah, I'll do, is this yeah, let's okay. do another question. Okay. That one makes us seem creepy. This is going as well as our last song. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the rat's ear. <laughs> the rat's the ear. Worst? All right. Um, what is your favorite decade for music? 70s, easy. 1990s for sure for me. Ooh. Yeah, I'd back the 90s. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Mine's yeah, probably that's 2000s. That's it. That's what? it. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. Okay, then I back quit. that up with some why. Because I don't know, like so many of my favorite bands were around at that time, like Ocean Size, Biffy Clyro, and it's the music I I had when I was a teenager as well. And to be honest, most of those bands are still relevant. Like I love I love the you know, I love every decade, but yeah, people think that I identify with the nineties, but ah, two thousands for sure. Okay, Liam. Well, the seventies, everyone's still in the. Uh, the emotional come down from the 60s so <laughs> lots of good music was written then i i happen to agree thank you me for the 90s it was just like you know alternative rock came to an all-time high so it's like how can we pump this up which you know made my favorite bands from blink 182 offspring rancid the list goes on but just the the way they affected the new culture coming into 2000s is huge for me and that's why i love punk rock alternative everything like that it's amazing. Awesome. What, what he said. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Well, I look forward to speaking with you further, and I hope that everyone uh, at home takes some time to look them up and listen again. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Cheers. Thank you, guys. <laughs>
Bill's red. 
Thank you. Thanks again to Introduce Wolves, and be sure to stay tuned next week for Cat Madden. Would these new boots fly you away? <laughs>